Urban Gardening Thailand. Join me in my tropical Asian garden. Caution! Datura plants are poisonous. They can kill. No part of the plant should be ingested in any shape or form. Keep young children and pets away from Datura plants. You have been warned. In my previous video, I showed how to germinate Datura seeds, and you can check it out from the link in the description below. Now I want to give you a more detailed account of their progress, so you can have some idea how fast these plants can grow and what to expect. After four to five weeks in starter containers, I transplanted the seedlings into the garden. Here they are. One I planted in a small pot. This one I planted directly in the soil. And I planted two more in large containers. Now I'm going to show you the plants after about six weeks. That's right, only a month and a half of growth. I know that the four seedlings I chose to keep does not make for a scientific experiment, but I was surprised at the significant difference in size and development that I experienced. I will show you them from smallest to largest. I planted all of them where I felt they would get a significant amount of sunlight, and I don't think the soil medium for any given plant was much different than that for any other plant. This is the seedling in the small pot. It is only seven and a half inches, about 20 centimeters tall. The pot is only six and a half inches, 17 centimeters across, and five and a half inches, about 14 and a half centimeters deep. Not surprisingly, it is the smallest of all the plants, and it has not shown any flower development yet. No doubt this plant would have done a lot better in a larger pot, and when I'm done making this video, I will be transplanting it directly into the soil and hope for more growth and flowers. In order of size, the next one, surprisingly, is the seedling that I planted directly in the soil. Possibly its growth has been hindered by the fact that it is somewhat surrounded by other plants, though it did receive plenty of afternoon light. It is only 15 inches, about 35 centimeters tall, and so far it has not shown any signs of flowering. This is the next largest one. It is about 25 inches, 65 centimeters tall. The measurements are not exact, but gives you a good idea. It is in a large pot, 12 and a half inches, 32 centimeters across, and 10 inches, 25 and a half centimeters deep. And in a few days, it has taken me to make this video. The flower has burst open. Wow, check it out. You can see why they call it double purple datura. And this is the largest one. It is more than 30 inches tall, almost 80 centimeters. It is in a large pot, 13 and a half inches, 35 centimeters wide, and 12 inches, 30 centimeters deep. It is flowering, but they have not opened up yet. It is literally four times taller than my smallest one. And that's what I mean that I experienced a lot of variation in size. So I'm thinking if you're growing in Datura, you should grow more than one plant to make sure you get at least one quick and tall grower. I really enjoyed growing Datura plants. The seeds germinated easily and fairly quickly. They can be grown in pots or directly in soil. They required no special fertilizer, soil, or watering, though they do need a lot of sunshine. And best of all, within a few months, they produced beautiful, amazing flowers. But remember, all parts of this plant are toxic to human and pets. Happy gardening! Thanks for watching. Tick that like button and subscribe to my channel. You can find Lucky Dog's life playlist, gardening playlist, and computer tutorial playlists from the links in the description below. See you next time!